run through a motherfucker face. Uh, hello? Hi. Agazi, are you there? I'm here. Yes. Hold on, we're on Facebook Live. We got him. What's up, Gazi? Aquava, y'all. Uhuru. Uh -huh. If you want this interview to continue, you can't say Uhuru. Oh. Okay, can I push a button that says it? Uhuru! <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh, okay. We'll play by your rules. Um, okay, let's start it off. Uh, do you want to start with a question, or, or can Matt start with a question? What would you be most comfortable with? I don't know. Who, who are you people? I mean, which one's Matt? <laughs> this is Matt above me. Matt's in, wearing the little boy's shirt that, that uh, a four-year-old would wear. Okay, you always have to get something about my what I'm wearing. Well, don't dress like a toddler, then. Okay. I get a Proud Boy shirt next time. <laughs> yeah, I, my name's Gavin. I'm the guy in the suit. I'm the moderator. Hopefully, I don't say anything this whole time. And you are Gazi Kadzo. You can say something if you want. Oh, thank oh. you. Okay, Matt. Why don't you start asking Gazi a simple question that that can get us, you know, a, a big right. picture? I guess we'll start simple. Um, you know, is there any dollar value of reparations that, like, have you quantified it to a dollar value that you would want to be owed? Um, and how would it be paid out? Would it just be the U.S. government would collect taxes from? primarily white people and pay it out? How would it work? Or would it be like a private kind of system you want people to opt into? A dollar amount? Yeah. Do you think, like, you know, the average black person's owed, you know, 10 grand, 20 grand each? Is there anything like that? Well, studies show that it's for the labor itself, mm -hmm. it's around $14 trillion. Okay. Yeah, I think I've seen the this study here. African people, stolen lives of African people have been given to build the United States government and to build the economy, the capitalist economy that you know of. But I, and as well as the party, understand that that amount is a drop in the puddle of what is owed to African people mm -hmm. that has given our everything, we've forcefully given our everything, mm -hmm. not just labor. I mean, labor is one thing, but to give away our history, mm -hmm to give away our language, to give away our connection to Africa, to disperse us, to rape us, to push us into privately owned prisons, mm -hmm. prisons, to build a prison industrial complex, to destroy African children through the school to prison pipeline, to murder African children on the street, to make African women feel inferior, to starve African children because of parasitic capitalism the amount is the liberation mm -hmm. and determination of African people. And everything that you see on, anything you see of the white nation has been stolen from African and colonized people. I mean, from the people you call aboriginals in Australia mm -hmm. to the people of South America. These people, these lands are poor because Europe is wealthy. So, what? yeah, that's All right. the so how about mind if I jump in? Yeah, we got to keep the answers a little shorter. Yeah, all right. It went. Well, it went like. It went like I saw myself. Yeah, yeah, we see all see each other. But um, I mean, my argument was I was going to start from talking about. I mean, usually people argue for reparations for slavery. I mean, obviously you and your movement take it to a different level with colonialism. Um, but to talk about slavery, we have a control group in that the North didn't have slavery, the South did. So in response to the argument that slavery built America, and obviously it contributed a great amount, um, in the, the North had something like 75% of all wealth prior to the Civil War, um, and obviously there was never a slave in the North. So only something like 5% of GDP was actually attributable Who to slavery. There was no slaves in the North. History? <laughs> New York City had slaves. The under underneath, underneath what you call the stock market, there was slaves. There's bones of slaves that you can find. There's chains that you can find underneath that. You need to do real history and see that underneath Wall Street was African slaves, slavery. And no matter what part of white people or which white person didn't own a slave, they all benefited from slavery. Because I heard um, this one here. Gavin. This, this, Gavin. Whatever. You were saying that only 1% of white people or something owned yes, slaves. Yes, better percent and a half. Well, but how many white people contributed in stealing the slaves, chaining the slaves, 
beating the slaves, finding the slaves, making sure that the slaves wouldn't run away, and benefiting from slavery. So the ownership of the slave is not the only contradiction. Wasn't the that all Arabs and Jews and blacks? Were, weren't, weren't Arabs and Jews and blacks the ones selling the slaves? Didn't they create 10 million slaves out of nothing and sell them mostly to Brazil? We got like 388,000. Yeah, Brazil got about 20 million total. Really? It was something. It's, it's okay. either between 10 and 20. It was a very high number compared to what we got. First, let's go to slave, black Africans selling other Africans mm -hmm. as slaves. The definition of slavery, that white people had a slavery, did not exist on the face of Africa. Raping, beating, taking the names of, separating of families, lynching, branding, forcefully raping, forcefully breeding did not happen in Africa. Oh, they were cool with their slaves. Only like 3,000. Why, why did 2 million die just not even getting out of the continent then? a totally different thing on the continent of Africa. What you are talking about is other nations of people coming and also partaking in the destruction and slavery of Africa. Mm -hmm. But it's what you owe. And as a child, as a some little child that says, oh yeah, I hit Timmy, but guess what? They hit Timmy too. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You are benefiting right now from what you do. Yeah, I think it's the number of little boys that hit Timmy, though. <laughs> well, the thing I wanted to bring up, too... Focusing on one guy who hit Timmy no, once, no, 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 as opposed no, 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 to the wait, entire wait. schoolyard. I did not... Exactly. The entire schoolyard you colonized. The entire schoolyard you colonized. The entire schoolyard you loot from. Everything you have, every material you have is connected to a colonized and oppressed nation. Are these colonized. countries better off when they get colonized? Wasn't colonization nothing but an improvement for the third world? Well, there are cases when it's obviously not, like the British in India. Well, look at Haiti. Country. They kick out all the whites. It becomes a hellhole. Zimbabwe. Look at Jamaica yeah. after 1969. Look at South Africa today. Yeah. The, the less white people, yeah. the more dangerous it seems to be. Yeah. That happened in, um... From the attacks of white people, from the attacks of imperialism, do you know that they cut off Haiti from doing trade with anyone? And that oh, so you didn't get enough handouts? You didn't get enough capitalism? I didn't give you enough shit after you kicked me out? They assassinated Haitian leaders. They assassinated Haitian leaders. They put Coachella virus in Haiti. They put HIV and AIDS in Haiti. They have attacked Haiti. When the Haitian earthquake happened, the Clintons stole billions of dollars from Haiti well, that's that should have been yeah. given to the Haitian infrastructure. How did so you, you, how could you even tell it, after it, Haiti had an earthquake? Right. It, before and after pictures look the same. Is, your argument too. is that a liberated African people will always fail because there's something innate in black people that will make us fail. Because that's, that's, your, that's your argument, and it's not no, true. Of course not. not really. No, my argument is that white people are not better than anyone. We're just very good at systems. I don't know why. Everyone has a talent. Our talent is systems. We're good at roads and infrastructure, and you show your ticket here, and you get your pie over there. You didn't build those infrastructures, so you're well, not you're, good at that. You're good at stealing and looting, and that's why you have a country that has only went 24 to 27 years without a war, because you're good at stealing, because each and every war is of you stealing resources. No, you are not good at systems, sweetheart. You are good <laughs> at colonialism. You what are good resources? At gold and diamonds? I don't understand the argument, though, that it was, let's say, slaves that built up America. Like, we could just walk out on the street and look at any 10 buildings and... None of well, them. the other problem with that whole argument, Gazi, is after the Civil War, the, was the balance sheet was zero. So you build up a restaurant and it burns to the ground and then someone rebuilds a new restaurant and you go, that's my restaurant, I built it. There is massive, really. yeah, there is actually massive inflation in the South during the Civil War. Not a lot War. of cotton money going around these days. No, but there was, there was massive inflation in the South uh, following the Civil War just to have finance you ever, the have war. Have you ever heard uh, of convict leasing? Have you ever heard of convict leasing? Okay, that's a different argument. Now you're getting into the way they were treated after the war. Now it's racism reparations, not slavery reparations. People and the continuation, the basis of capitalism and imperialism is built on the bodies of African people. So even if you say, fine, now you have these resources to rebuild, the resources that you have to rebuild is from the resources that you stole from Africa. None of you here can say where the resources came from, and it didn't come from your systems, and so, it didn't come from your brightness, and it didn't come from you being more intelligent than others. It came from stolen loot. I this just is the world clarify. we clarify. Wait, nations are poor okay. because white nations are rich. That is a fact. That is a fact. It is a fact that 13 countries in Africa have to give 65% of their budget to France. 
and then another 15% of that as a as a char extra charge. And that if any of those African countries ask, even ask France how much money is in that bank, that they are overthrown and they are killed and they are replaced with another puppet regime. If this wasn't true, you wouldn't have to have 200, over 200 military bases around the world to solidify and sustain your stolen resources. If this was not true. Everything that you are talking about is based off of bullshit. We live in a world that people are being bombed and murdered and assassinated every day so you can have resources. So yes, I'm talking about the past of what happened in Africa, but you have to understand the past is now. And stop saying African people sold African people as slaves. You put the, to the Africans that did not help the slave um, trade, they were murdered and beheaded and their heads were sent to the royals. Just now, just now in Ghana, they got the heads of two horseshit. of their kings back. No, it, it, it was it was a big Look industry in Africa. It's a Look big it industry today, Look my friend. There's more slaves they ever. They were murdered. How can you say that? How can you say that that they were not murdered for not helping the uh, of helping? Because the slavery industry. existed they way before we were buying the slaves, and it still exists today. Slavery is as old as, as human civilization. There's slavery in the Bible before there was any sort of... The origin of the word is a white slave, a Slav. But yeah, that's where they had slavery in Africa before we decided to buy some. Most and they still have them right now. I'm a soul. Is it my fault they have them right now? Slavery that you invented... No, we did not. No. never been on this face of the planet until you came no, into it. No, it's and not true. And guess what? True. Your slavery, the slavery that you had, was so huge and so all-encompassing that it has built a system... It has built a system of capitalism. It has built a system of oppression. It has built parasitic capitalism that gives you these cities and these nations. Where are the cities and these nations for these other slaves, these other slave owners? Where yeah, the Irish here? slaves. Where's Where their they? Mecca? What about the 1.5 million white people sold into slavery during the Barbary pirates? Yeah, what, that, isn't that why we had to invent the Marines to protect ourselves from all these the biggest, Muslim uh, pirates stealing biggest, our women? The biggest colonial empire, aside from the British, was the Ottoman Empire, and no one seems to want reparations for them because they're not white. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I mean, it was going to bring up... You gave reparations for the Japanese, right? Correct. They were directly affected. No, we didn't. We were total tyrants. Well, those who were directly in turn got reparations. Yeah, but I'm glad you brought up Japan. You go in on the barbers and all these other kind of things, but you are currently living right now on a system that is built from the slavery and the colonization of other people, of African people, and that you cannot negate from. And no, we just did not- I disagree. Cotton. We did so much more, and it built an entire nation. America today would not be America today if it wasn't for the enslavement of African people. I Europe disagree. would not be Europe yeah. if it wasn't for colonialism and slavery. White nations, white people would not be where white people are right now if it was not for colonialism and not for slavery. And right now you are dealing with a crisis of imperialism, of African and colonized people fighting every day that's why when you go to your airports you got to go through all these freaking checkouts and take your shoes off and everything you want to know why it's Islam. motherfuckers are coming back to take back their stuff you want to know why you have to build a wall because people are coming back to take their stuff you want to know why you have to drop the biggest bomb the biggest non-nuclear bomb of afghanistan because african and colonized people are fighting for their shit back consistently everywhere so as much as you want to negate it no as much as you want to say well what about this and this happened and this happened and, oh my god this happened in history this happened this, this happened in history <laughs> motherfuckers are coming for your neck do you so, not see that so the reason you, okay that's a good that. argument for a wall the reason we bombed that. isis in afghanistan is to steal money from africa and then the best the best summation you could do matt is to come yes, up sir. with a book about islam that islam is the crux of this issue that islam well, is the core of this issue that you know, these Muslims just hate freedom. No, these colonized people hate that you're bombing them and you're stealing their resources and starving them to death. And what are these are, resources you, know, you keep talking about? We took, we took their diamonds and built an entire country from it. Yeah, I don't I don't drive a diamond mobile. Do you mean oil? <laughs> you drive something that is filled with the oil, right? You do something yes. that's filled with sodium, right? Yeah. Right? All these metals, all this stuff, where do you think that came from? The what metal? Do you Where do we get metal from? Metal here, China. China. I'm doing great for metal. All that oil yeah. that is in your car is oil, is blood oil. All the diamonds that you have, even when you give and you give to your wife, and this is the diamond, is blood diamonds stolen from African people. Well, I think we get most of our oil from Canada and Mexico, and most of the oil is from Saudi Arabia. We pay for our oil. I don't understand what, how, what and you that's Islam. Who? You pay who? You pay who? Islam. Saudi Arabians. Very rich who? Saudis. 
very rich Saudis that do exactly whatever America says, and if they don't, that they will be replaced. But the masses of the people of Saudi Arabia are poor and colonized. The masses of the people of the Middle East are poor and colonized. And if Saudi Arabia was a self-determining nation that fought and aligned and gave the power and the resources to the masses of the people, there would be no Israel. They would wipe out Israel, and they would agree, wipe out agree. this. <laughs> they would wipe out this oppressive relationship that all of the Middle East has with America. And you created a Saudi Arabia. You created these countries the same That's way you created okay. these fifty-four nations in Africa. There was no African in that building when when white people decided to chop up Africa into pieces. And then you instill these um, puppet regime. Um, governments. And if these governments do not do as you say, you murder them and you ask them out. And these governments have to give you their resources. The same way Saudi Arabia has to give you all that damn oil is the same way that all that Congo has to give all their damn resources to France, that all these or all these countries have to give their resources. Because if they don't, the petty bourgeoisie, the neo-colonial sellouts will be murked and overturned. But the masses of the people stay poor. The masses of the people stay poor. You have to understand. You, it, it is what you cannot think that that. How do you think that that's not real? How do you think that that's not real? You're right. And that is the life that you live. You're totally that right. That is the life that you live. You live in you live on the empire. And it is true, true. white opportunism. It true, is true. white opportunism to, to negate from any of that and to say, you know what? We just got this because we because we design better than y'all, and because we do infrastructure better than y'all. When the mass of the people, when people are willing to strap bombs on themselves to run into crowds, you have to ask yourself, no, that is not some damn Allah. No, that okay, is not look, some damn psycho. You're conflating is- every non-white group as one big anti-white movement because I think you're inherently racist. Yeah, you don't like white people. Yeah, so let's just accept that everything you say is totally correct. And we stole everything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where do we go from here? What's the next step? How do we go forward? You just said that African people, we put to our own, if we lead our own struggles or lead our own countries, that we fail. What I'm saying is African say and colonized people around the world are fighting against imperialism, are fighting against parasitic capitalism. It was you that connected white to that. It was you that made white and imperialism, white and colonialism, white and parasitic capitalism. You guys tried your darndest to colonize us. Remember Hannibal and his elephants going up to Spain? He, you didn't colonize because you weren't good enough at it. The colonizers, Sorry. the colonizers were the British and we broke free from them. So there's really no connection. Yeah, your problem is whites and are whites, whether they're British, Portuguese, we're all the same. And then non-whites from Hispanics to, to Saudi Arabians who don't like you, by the way, are all one big anti-white force that's fighting back over all these diamond smugglers. We're like fucking hamburglers. <laughs> uh, but what do we do next? Say you're right and everything was stolen. Obviously, 14 trillion or whatever you think it is, 28 trillion, isn't fathomable. That's the deficit. And the net worth of this country is around 80 trillion. So there's the argument that everything was stolen. You want everything? You want all 80 trillion? White people created white unity with the UN. White people created white unity with NATO. White people created white unity through the The UN hates us. Wait, through fighting and saying that they need to come together so they can continue to steal the resources of African people. And the times that white people separated, the times that white people divided was World War I and World War II, which were both, which were both about fighting over colonized resources, which were both about fighting over colonized resources. World War II was about fighting over colonized resources. Yes, because Germany was upset with what y'all gave them last time, and they they needed and wanted more of those colonized resources, and that's why they had troops in North Africa fighting for those stolen resources. I think they were trying to take over the world was the... uh... Yeah, I think it was colonized, non-colonized, fucking water. I think they were going for the whole kit and caboodle. Mm -hmm. But where do we go from here, Gazi? They were fighting for resources and the resource and the parents. These resources. Africa. We're good for resources. America's replete with resources. The only thing we're slightly low on is oil. But if we could frack, we could we and OPEC would stop lowering the price. I think we'd be pretty good. And you'll notice, by the way, every time you have another country like Haiti or Venezuela or Cuba, it's always they cut us off. So. Other countries fail because we don't give them enough shit, but every time, every time we do something yeah, wrong, it's because we keep stealing stuff. Enough. We don't need anything. We're good. Because 10 because 12 percent white people make up what 12, 16 percent of the world mm-hmm. and have access and rule over 80 percent of the resources. So, yes, you are good. 
Maybe we're just you better at business. Good, like, <laughs> but African and colonized people are not. You know, are not, there's actually. And that's what we're fighting for. And Venezuela, you cut Venezuela off through using Saudi Arabia and other nations. They got tons of oil. Why can't they run their own ship? Why do they need my charity? Your charity. Why do I need to buy their shit? You mean cut them off? That's like saying this kid's doing no, bad after he moved out of the house because you don't give him any more stuff. But when you cut Venezuela off from everyone else and not only cut them off, but you put in regimes and coops in there to overthrow them, What's a coop? To overthrow their socialist <laughs> revolution, then yeah, shit Chicken gets coop? fucked up. Because it's not just, oh, my charity, but then you have this COINTEL pro action against these people to destabilize these people. So it's not the Chavez's fault. Is our did we put Chavez in there? That's our fault. Chavez was great. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, why do I mean my main question is why do other uh, I mean obviously Africa is a continent, but why would country other countries outside of Africa who are also colonized so successful today? For example, Switzerland was colonized, uh, Taiwan, South Korea. Actually, I think I have a list of some others. Uh, why does Hiroshima, Hiroshima, and Nagasaki look so wonderful today? Yeah. I mean, it's. <laughs> I mean, the main argument, too, is if you can look at India. They were one of the British, uh, the, Br the British's main victims of colonialism, aside from Africa. Um, a lot of their economic policies actually led to around 10 million Indians starving to death. So you'd think, you know, there's pretty big scars. It's a lot more recent than colonialism of Africa. And yet you look at Indian households in America and the average household income is, I think, around $102,000. So regardless of what problems they have in their history, they're hey, doing pretty well you, here. Hold on. First off, you think India is doing good? No, I'm talking about Indians who live in America. Okay, because you just said that all these people are doing great after colonialism, but then you named Italy, you named, I mean, named India, mm -hmm. and then you named Africa. And do you want to name uh, Switzerland was colonized? It was uh, Switzerland, South Korea, Taiwan, Singapore, and Hong Kong. You know, they Switzerland all have... made resources off of African, pe African colonized people as well, right? Oh, that, ex that must explain it, yeah. Africa doesn't have that much good shit, to be honest. They got like some, Europe some jewels. Europe doesn't have that much good shit, to be honest, and that's why you, that's why you attacked Africa. No. Oh. No, they don't. We don't really. Uh, no, yeah. You know, and I think exports from Africa are like two percent of our GDP. Is it only you hear that? To African people. African exports are two percent of our GDP. We like the shiny stuff, but we don't really need it. Yeah. You don't need diamonds. But they're only a value because we restrict the. They're not even popular anymore. Diamonds were like old people. They only have value. One has a diamond like a jewelry drawer do you anymore. Need your cell phone. Yes, yes, I do need my cell phone. Do you need uranium. Yeah, isn't uranium your Eastern phone? European mostly? You need the protein so. in your cell phone. Do you know where the resources in your cell phone comes from? A lot of places. Africa, the Congo, China. Yeah, but only two percent. Well, okay. yeah, it's overall. I mean, certainly no one's going to deny their their resources from Africa. It's just of our. Well, you just overall did exports. with the two percent, but continue. Correct. Continue. Look, we're talking in circles here, but while yes. While we're using this computer that has African resources, while we're what? using these plastic that has African resources, while you're in a building that's filled with African re African colonized resources. No, continue. that's not true. Is there anything that's not from Africa? The stuff that you stole from South America, the stuff that you <laughs> stole from Australia, the stuff that you steal from this colonized. So we steal from Australia. It's white land. though, so it's, I'm yourself. so confused. Wait, when you say steal from yourself, do you mean when you said Canada? And America, which are both co colonial settlers states, do you, do you, is that what you're saying? I don't okay. know. I mean, like, yes, that's what I'm saying. You're right. I'm wrong. Okay. Let's let's. We're okay. running out of time here, know, Gaz. Just you know, even everything you get from this country that you call America is colonial loot because you murdered the people, pushed them into these concentration camps. So yes, you are still a settler. You are. When do you stop complaining? Settler. About the past and just move forward. What is something not everyone else's fault? Ever heard of culpability? Why don't you fix your own fucking life? Because you didn't fix yours. You did not fix yours. You destroyed mine to fix yours. You no, I never Africa touched your evil. fucking life, you loser. You Go get a job. Africa. Go do something. Stop bitching Go about America other people. It God. makes you look like a bitch Go when you complain about God. other people all the time. Why aren't I successful? You did this to me. You help me. You bring me stuff. You make my life better. Go make your own life better. Better. I think I'm Africa should be a colonial. Hey, Black America, stop killing each other and go make your own lives better. We tried I'm charity. We tried America. reparations We're with welfare and everything else. We probably paid the number you want. We probably paid billions of dollars in reparations and welfare. It doesn't work. You need to help yourself. Maybe try reading the Bible, you stupid communist. When did I ask you to make my life better? That's all you do. All you do.
Reparations is me helping you. You help you. Reparations is you helping me. Yes. I never said that. You want my money, don't you? Where's the money come from? I'll tell you what reparations is. All right. Please I do. Have, on I, that note. I have Let's end on that. I have in African people that we will get what is owed to us. I have an enemy faith in... Yeah, I checked. Have you checked out South Africa recently? It's not Africa going great. Africa. Have you checked the status of the crisis of imperialism? Have you checked the status of what's going on with the white ruling class fighting over the state right now in the White House? Have you checked yourself? Because it looks to me that you're on the way down. But let me tell you something. That might be I've true. never said that, that paying reparations helps us or is helping us. Reparations is not our thing of please help us white people. Reparations is a humanitarian way of saying this is the way to overturn the colonial relationship. That if a white person wants to get on the right side of the question and stop living off of the backs of other people, stop living off of the blood and destruction of other people, pay reparations. Pay reparations. That is the only way, wait, that's the only way a colonizer can stop being a colonizer. That's the only way a succubus can stop being a succubus is to stop that relationship and to give what is owed, period. You don't, and let me tell you real quick, you don't have to do it. Okay, you don't good. have to do it. Yes, and guess what? I'm glad you don't. I'm glad you don't because the line is drawn. The line is drawn and the line is great. But guess what? Next time you go to the airport and you're afraid, next time there's another terrorist attack and you're afraid, next time there's somebody that walks up into um, a restaurant and blows themselves up and you're afraid, or even a gay club and blows themselves up and you're afraid. Understand, that is the crisis of imperialism, deepening and deepening and deepening. I think and it's after, inbred Muslims reading the Quran too much. And as far as reparations go, the answer is no, my friend. No. No reparations for you. And we're going to keep colonizing because it's called civilizing. That's what colonization is. It's called improving the world. You know there's more people enslaved today in the entire world than there have been at any point. And they're all enslaved in Africa for fuck's sake. Zero in a way country. Capitalism is improving the world. Then why is not the why is the planet dying? Why is the planet's the planet not dying? Why, why, That's another stupid why liberal people, myth. Why, the majority, why are so many white people on prescription medication? Why are so many That's white people? Yeah, you're right. That's terrible. Why are yeah. so many white people, you know, having all these mental freaking issues? Why are white people number one? Because we listen to assholes people? like you mostly. Why? You know, <laughs> absolute why? poverty in Africa has been cut in half in the past 30 years. So, really? yeah, I mean, absolutely. It isn't like a all right, I don't think we're making any progress here. There's no, there's no moving forward here. It's all like, we're going to get you, white motherfucker. We're going to steal your money. And I actually have an interview coming up. So, All right, okay. So, oh, sorry. Go, but I do, I do appreciate. This. I really do appreciate you coming and, on, Gazi. I hope that we can do this again. Me too. And I yes. Will yes. Just fruitful. Um, Y'all just need to study more. All right. All right. True. We'll Excellent. we'll read up on some African history. I'm not going to say it, but. Huru. Huru. Huru.